Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Frosting My Furrows. If you'd like to know how we made this super cute unicorn cake, please continue watching. So the first thing we did was to make a horn for the unicorn. So we literally just rolled some gum paste and then wrapped that around a long dowel, basically. I was going to say skewer, but really it's a dowel. So I took that and just rolled it all the way around. I wish I was more aware of where the camera was. And then, in order to make the unicorn horns, I used this like petal cutter thing, but I didn't like the shape of it entirely, so there you go, just straighten that right up. And then, in order to make the eyes, just cut out some rounds. I also used a heart cutter because the inside of the eyes has hearts in it. And then the shape of the eyes isn't fully round, it's more of like a moon crescent situation. And there you go. The inside of the eyes is blue because, you know, who doesn't like blue eyes? So just cut out two of those and put them in place. Moving on to the pupils of the eyes. Out of black fondant, just rolled some of that out and placed it over there. I want to say the eyes took the longest time to make for this unicorn cake, but details pay off. So there you have it. That's the eyes put in our cute little hearts but I wasn't too too happy with the way the hearts came out of the heart cutter so I just adjusted that a little bit that's our other eye I'm gonna fix or not eye that's our other heart for the other eye so got that and obviously put that twinkle in the eyes because who doesn't like a unicorn with some twinkle um, and then I used a Russian tip to um, cut out circles and then like further cut them even more to get this little sliver of fondant that would just go kind of around um, one of the sides of the eye kind of make it look like eyeliner because obviously unicorns have eyeliner and then eyelashes super super crucial I cut out really long eyelashes and then I had to adjust the length of all of them and these eyelashes were a little tough to handle. I have no idea how lash technicians do this stuff. That is, honestly, they're wizards. I don't know how they do it. Anyway, so got that eyelash situation solved. And then I cut out some fondant flowers to put on our cake. And then I have this really cool cloud shaped cutter that's actually used to make roses, right? This is the fastest way ever to make roses. So. You do that and then you fold it over. Usually you need fl uh, water to sort of get the two sides to adhere, but my fondant was already pretty, pretty soft and sticky. So you literally just fold it over and then wrap it around, opening up the petals a little bit, wrapping it further, opening it up a little more. And there goes my rose out of the camera's view because I did not know where it was. Anyway, so I just made a few of those and then further continued making all sorts of flowers. Here's our horn that we made in the first scene. So just paint that with gold dust all over. Keep going at it. I use like a makeup brush basically for all my painting. Obviously it's only used for cakes and it was brand new so I don't even know if they have like cake painting brushes specifically but whatever it does the job. So there you have it, just gold luster dust from, forgot the brand. We keep switching brands all the time because I love to experiment. Anyway, so that's done, stuck in the horn, and then uh, it's just, the rest of it is so much fun. You just put it all together. So eyes go on first, you know, find perfect placement, stuck that in, there you go. Wipe that tear under the eye and then put on those eyelashes. So again, eyelashes were not the easiest for us to stick on because they just kept sliding out of place. But anyways, got those eyelashes in place for our dear unicorn. One, two, and there's our third lash right there. Love the length of those eyelashes too, you know, they're so perfect. So now it's the fun part. You just start piping. You pipe the hair or yeah this is the unicorn hair so this is just our usual American buttercream that we used in um, and it was colored with chef master gel food color with like the tiniest amount of pink so just added some of those rosettes 
piping literally just randomly all over the place and the tip that we used is the Wilton 1M which is what we use all the time for everything anyways and piped some more and this time now I changed the color so we have like a light purple I don't know my color names actually so we just have that pardon my elbow I'm not oh god my elbows back yeah sorry about that I'm not the best with camera placement and like knowing I just like get in my zone and then I forget that I'm recording so I was having a bit of a hard time but anyway so I just continued piping on this pretty pretty light purple you know playing around with our pastels filling in more spots there's that hand yes all right then filling in those bald spots for our unicorn keep going and going and then I put on the fondant flowers that we had made earlier on so you know this like blue purple indigo I'm just naming all my colors now situation um, there is the ear so I just painted the inside a little bit of gold um, and put those in place with uh, skewers, put those roses. I wanted the roses to sort of be centered uh, closer to the front of the cake. And continuing further with placing all of these flowers that we had made randomly thrown across the cake all over the place. So pretty, oh my god. Um, some more of those tiny blue flowers. And then I added pearls because who doesn't love pearls? And what's a what's a cake without pearls anyway? So just added those, literally throwing them on, and obviously centering some towards the front because we love a pretty front. More pearls and more pearls. Okay, and then I added very very tiny pearls, like minuscule pearls, to the purple blue flowers that we had made that one just fell off and then, yeah and then our final step some sweet apolita sprinkles just to go all the way around our cake except to cover the hair of the unicorn of course so more sprinkles push them into the cake to make sure that it adheres to the cake surface right there and that's the full 360 view we hope you enjoyed this cake tutorial don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.